This mountain of snow came from Red Deer streets. With almost 90% of our annual snowfall already on the ground, city officials are concerned about how to best get it off the roads. We're strategizing and we're developing plans to, to ensure we have that accessibility, that mobility through the community. The budget and plan for snow removal is based on average snowfall. But when you get hammered like this, the plan has to change dramatically and quickly. Look for the pressure points, work towards uh, gaining that accessibility. That's the critical element is that the reason we have a snow and ice control policy is to address the high traffic volume areas, provide that accessibility for emergency services so they can be there to provide that critical care. That policy laid out by City Council is under the microscope this winter as staff discovers what's working and what needs to be changed under this plan. That will uh, be bridged in this next little while. We'll be going back to council to talk to them about what strategies or what uh, means and methods we would uh, possibly entertain for these extreme events or are we considering uh, alternative base level services for the community. Last year's budget was 3.5 million based on average snowfall. Well, one possible option is to add another, say, 25% to deal with this kind of winter. But that might not be the best option each year. If we define what that is and where it is, then we, then we have a basis to work from, develop, add, uh, apply growth factors, apply inflation factors. But by just picking a number and adding 25% doesn't necessarily give you the anchor point to move forward, which a year, year after year we're revisiting our budget. Meantime, crews work on clearing streets and appreciate your patience while they do so, but you can help the process along by removing your vehicles from the streets when asked. We get a way better product coming out. We get the windrows nice and tight up against the curb face. It minimizes the disruption and it provides the best drivable surface afterwards. Imagine navigating a grader through uh, a gauntlet of parked cars. It becomes very problematic, but also the product at the end is, is less than perfect. For Go Central, I'm Jim Claggett.